So partial virgin CPR. So that means Nifty is uh, showing downtrend and Bank Nifty also got the rejection from these levels and trying to coming down. But only thing is that based on this candle, so if you see this candle range, so 35,070 to 35,400. So almost is uh, 320 pants of the range, right? Yeah, close to 320 pants of the range. So most of the times, if you see this type of more than 300 pants of the range, most of the times price is trading in the range. So unless until breakout, then only we can expect some movement in the market. If it is not breakout cases, it's not going to give any opportunity. It may trading in the range only. Now, which one is the weak? Either Nifty is the weak or Bank Nifty is the weak. Weak index. I'm talking about this weak index. Which one is a weak and which one is a strong? So Nifty trading around these levels, okay? And Bank Nifty trading around these levels. Exactly, Nifty is the weak. Why? Because Bank Nifty trading above this previous day high. Nifty is trying to close as first five minutes candle low. So that means, and this is also trading below this previous day low, below this previous day low and below this first five minutes candle low. So once break these levels, so then price come for the retracement around this level, then only we can take the trade decisions. So now is a nifty is the weak. So we can select nifty strike price. Once price came for the retracement opportunity, then only we can take the trade decision. We are not going to take the trade decision on direct opportunity. We are looking for this retracement opportunity. So once this breakout, then price come for the retracement around this level. So then we can travel up to this, either this gap order levels or this S2 levels or this dots is a weekly pivot levels. But this is without breakout price bouncing from this level price came for this level. We are not going to take the trade decision. Why? Because risk, risk is a problem. So always check with the sets. Sets is a problem around these levels. So better to price closes below this level, S1 level, then price come for the retracement. So that time we can try for this gap order levels or these are weekly pivot levels. Still this bank nifty is the strong and nifty is the weak. So this is our location, right? So 16, 500 and 560. So let's take 16,550. So that cases 16,800 put option would be the better. Let's check with the 16,800 put option intrinsic value. So Nifty trading at let's take 503 points difference is there and this trading at 330. So 500, 330. So Nifty trading at 16,500. Spot is a 16,500. Okay, 16, 800 put option trading at 330. So what is the intrinsic value? What is the time value? Can anyone tell me this? So spot is a 16,500, Nifty trading at 16,500, spot price, spot. Okay, and we are selected 16,800, deep in the money put options. So that's a deep ITM, right? So which is trading at 330 up premium. This is a premium. Okay. So what is the intrinsic value and what is the time value in this? Once know the intrinsic value, you can easily to find the time value. Can anyone tell or should I explain? Yeah, yes. So uh, spot price, what is the uh, spot price? 16,500. So we are taking 16,500 time. Okay. So 16,500 is the spot price. So we are selected. What is, uh, what is the strike price? 16,800. Okay. So what is the difference between these two? 
So this is called intrinsic value. So what is the difference? IV is a 300 pounds. So 500 to 800 is a 300 pounds of the difference. This is called intrinsic value. And what is the time value? So intrinsic value. So premium minus intrinsic value. So 30 pounds of the time value. So this time value up to Thursday, not only for Tuesday, uh, today, it's good up to Thursday, 30 pounds of the time value is there. So this case is, this would be the, uh, this strike price would be the good. And if you select this at the money, there's a total time values available and little deep in the money is a more uh, time values available. So better to take this 16,800 put option would be the better. Okay. So now let's watch the 16. 800 put option. So this is a 16800 put option. So another one minute is there for this candle close. So uh, see, uh, unless until this breakout. So if it is this breakout also back to back support is there. So this is a recent swing uh, low levels. And this is a S1 levels weekly pivot wage in CPR. So multiple factors is available around these levels. So unless until this CPI, uh, this virgin CPR breakout, then price come for the retracement, then we can try it for this short opportunity. Otherwise, there is no short opportunity. And one more thing. See price opening around these levels. So sellers are trying to close this below these levels and this level buyers are activated. So buyers are activated and the price closes around these levels. So buyers are trying to close this uh, CPR levels and again sellers are activated and finally price closes above these levels. So this means it's a very strong candle. So this control by buyers. So try to read the candles, this control by buyers, right? So where they will keep the stop losses, for example, buyers are enter around these levels, where they will keep the stop loss, stop loss just below this first five minutes candle low are just below these levels. So that case is stop loss order means is a sell orders. So once trigger this all sell order, we can expect some movement in the market. Okay. But anyway, wide CPR, we are looking for this retracement opportunity. We are not looking for the direct opportunity. So all people are there, keep the stop loss below this level. So that means once price came for this level, so they are trying to adding their positions. So they are not allowing to hit their stop losses. So they are adding some positions. If any chances hit the stop losses, any big order will come hit the stop losses. So that case is next, uh, next support level around these levels, right? And here one more pattern also we can find, especially wide CPR cases, this pattern is going to work. So what is this pattern? If candle close, uh, open, candle take the support from this first five minutes candle low and formation of bullish candle. So what is this pattern traders? 